Hey there, and welcome back to my channel, Weirdly OCD, and a brand new episode of my series, Exploring YouTube. If you haven't seen an episode of this series yet, it's where I showcase a channel that I find genuinely inspiring and fun to watch, and a channel or channels that I feel just need a spotlight on them because they deserve a lot more attention than what they're getting. I'm going to jump right into it with today's episode where I want to showcase a channel that I came across literally maybe a week ago, a little more, and I am absolutely obsessed with. I've been binge watching a lot of their videos. Um, the channel is called Out in the Country, and it is a couple, Doug and Ashley, who live in Indiana with their two kids, Belle and Maverick. And under a year ago, I'm not exactly sure when, they purchased a three-acre size piece of property uh, that has a mobile home, a barn, and a over 100-year-old schoolhouse that personally I'm jealous about. Um, but they are fixing it up completely the reason I wanted to showcase their channel in this episode is because this couple just inspires me to a whole entire new level. Um, they are fairly young. I'm not sure exactly how old they are, um, but they're younger. And they do absolutely everything. They just truly, truly inspire me to want to learn more. I really, really wish that I knew how to do half of the things that this couple does. Um, they are just go, go, go from the time they seem to get up to the time they go to bed. Um, they are truly inspiring. Their kids are extremely lucky to have the parents that they do because these kids will grow up with a solid foundation of work ethic and respect and uh, you know, just self-worth and purpose. And I honestly, I don't think I could say enough things about this couple. Their uh, channel is called Out in the Country. I highly, highly recommend that you go check them out. Please go leave them some love on their channel. Please take the time to check them out. You will not dis be disappointed. Um, I'm sure you will love them just as much as I do. But with that, I hope you enjoy this, and here we are. Here is the channel out in the country. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Doug. And I'm Ashley. If you guys have read the title, you're probably just as confused as we are, trying to figure out if this is clickbait or what's happening. Let us talk about the backstory, and then we'll get into it. So welcome to our first video. We thought we'd make a YouTube channel. Since we just got chickens, we thought you could come along with us and watch us raise them and do other things too. We don't know, really know what we're going to do on the channel, but we're just going to do things like show you the chickens growing or... Day to day life. Things we work on. Okay. We moved here in April 2013. Okay. Um. We're originally from upstate New York. Uh, we just wanted to start over. Uh, we didn't really have anything going for us. We didn't know where we were going and we knew we needed to, to change, to leave and start over and, and have a change. It's in Indiana, by the way. You didn't say yes. that. <laughs> yeah, we're in Indiana. And that's basically what we've been doing for the last four years is 
fixing our house up, yep. trying to get on track. We're just trying to figure it out. And that's part of what we're doing on this channel now, is now that we've gotten a lot of the, the, the stressful stuff out of the way, getting our house together, getting things on track, and we kind of know what we want to do, we want to share our experience and, and show where we're at and, and walk you through um, our life in the city, I guess. I yeah. mean, we're not afraid to tackle almost anything. You know, some of us, we're, we're kind of, we're poor and we're learning and that makes for a really interesting combination of trying to figure it out and get it done. And, and, and we're, we're all alone, really. We don't know anybody out here. Um, no, nobody. So we do everything on our own and that can be, luckily we have the internet, because otherwise we'd be lost. Um, but we're smart and we, we figure it out. So that's it. Join us, watch us, follow us, and um, see yeah. where we'll go, I guess. Yeah. Okay, well, here's the story. Um, the other night, it was really cold out. I came out to lock my doors before bed. <clears throat> when I turned the key, it just got stuck. I can't get it out. I've been trying to get it out for days. I think. I think the first thing we're gonna do is uh, <clears throat> take this panel off. When things happen, like this, something falls apart, a lot of people, the first thing they think is, oh, who do I call? But you know, if you're gonna be doing, if you're gonna be, um, if you're on your own like we are, you don't have money, you don't have people to help, um, if you're trying to be a homesteader or anything like that, you just got to tackle these things. You just got to try your best, okay? You might not be able to do it. I'm just making this up as I go. And you'll find that you can do a lot more than you realize you could do. Um, a lot of people don't have very much confidence in themselves. So what have we got ourselves into this time? Look at this. Look at this. Got all this fence for free. I think it's easier to get them off. So there's our fence. Uh, we were really lucky to find this on the internet for free. Um, so we couldn't just pass that up. We called, we uh, sent them a message. They said it was still there. We went and grabbed it and um, it was super heavy. Really heavy. I almost couldn't lift them. I think the project for the day is going to be taking care of these bikes. We have too many bikes, no place to put them, and um, they're always in my way. I'm going to use this ball. I'm going to attempt to make a bike rack. I guess the first thing I'll mention is that I left my job. I mentioned before that I had a job in the morning. Uh, I no longer have that job. Uh, I won't get into details about that, but basically it was just overwhelming me and kind of burdening me from the things that I want yeah. to do. And I realized my priorities were getting off. I, I guess to, to put it simply, um, for me at least, it's um, faith, family, and freedom, and those things were getting out of balance. Um, I, I want to put more time into those areas. You know, we have some important goals in our life. You know, we're, our goal is to stay here in the city. Yeah. You know, have, I never wanted really to live in any city. We I want, grew up in the country. That's where we want to go now. Yeah, we kind of have to move as quickly as we can. So uh, where are we going? We do have ideas of where we want to be, um, but we, we don't have the, the finances to go out and buy another house while owning this house. Um, so buying a new house relies on selling that one. So we're going to sell first and then move. And obviously we don't have a house picked out because we don't know how, when this is going to sell. 
Last time we gave you guys an update, uh, we had a showing that went very well, and they said they were going to be getting back to us with an offer within the next couple days. Well, we waited, and a week went by, and we still haven't heard anything, and then more time went by, I didn't hear anything. The last we heard is that something personal came up, and they changed their mind, so... Yeah, like, they decided not to buy a house for now. Another update is... I don't know if you've noticed, obviously. Yeah. Our channel name. <laughs> so since we've been sitting here kind of waiting, uh, we've had a lot of time to think. And we decided that since we're going to be moving and... Um, Starting a new over, chap fresh. Yeah, a new chapter in our life, we decided that it was a good time to uh, also change our channel name and update our presence on YouTube. Yeah. So, Ashley came up with a new name. Yeah, I did. It took a long time mm -hmm. to think of the name. Thinking of YouTube channel names is like very hard. <laughs> and that's what you see now, so don't be confused uh, if you see this out in the country. And that's basically because um, we're basically moving to the country and that's what we want. We want to just live out in the country. So. Yep, just us being in the country. So in on other good news, we have a closing date on our home and our we will be selling our home if everything keeps going as planned on the 16th so what, less than a week right Tuesday yep. yeah that's fast so that's really cool and everything is going good with the other property we're looking at and we are setting up a closing date on that and it could be as soon as the next day yeah, so we still have to work that out we're working on it, but it's going to be really, really close, so we're going to sell, and we're going to have 30 days to move after selling this house. So that means we will be moving, literally, within this month. Everybody's been waiting to see what happened with our house and uh, what happened with the new property we're looking at. Well, we did it. We sold our house, and the very next day, we bought our new property. Well, here's our new home. It's a 1979 trailer, and it has a two-car garage. So here it is. It's actually a pretty good-sized garage. Yeah. Uh, little uh, closet when you come into the front door for coats. Nice spot to put coats and shoes or whatever in there. And we'll start at the front and work our way back. So here's the kitchen. It's a pretty basic kitchen. It does need some work. This is a huge living room. Um, yeah, it's really big. <laughs> yeah, you can see it's pretty massive. It has a really high ceiling. And this is technically the first bedroom. Uh, it's kind of open to the hallway area, and I think there was a wall here that somebody removed. And um, there is damage to the ceiling. There was a leak in the roof. They, they did repair it. But you can see there's actually a light switch in the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. We weren't planning on buying a mobile home, but um, this property just seemed like it made sense at the time. Uh, so for now, in this point of our lives, and mm -hmm. we think we'll be okay here. We've had a couple of people asking us what we do for money and and you know some people even accusing us of not working mm -hmm. and the truth is that you have to work you have to work you have to earn money unless you just are wealthy um yeah that would be the only exception yeah now we do work and we don't want to share for personal reasons what we do but we work um, all week long, every day we work to make money to pay our bills to buy food. We're not making money burning wood here. <laughs> this, no. This is something we're doing for ourselves so that we can have a better home and a better life. For many years we've been on this journey to find our home and our place in this world and we have been moving from house to house trying to 
um, get ahead. You know, we we started out with literally nothing, mm -hmm. and we worked our way up, little at a time over many years, and this is where it's led us. We moved here in January to this property. It's a three-acre homestead with an old hundred-year-old schoolhouse and an old barn, a garage, and a mobile home. We have been just loving it here. Awesome. Best place like ever that we've ever lived. This is the place that Ashley has finally found some peace where we actually feel like home, where we're having fun and we're doing what we want to do and it feels great. Um, we love so much about this property that we had to make a really tough decision recently. We are going to move. As much as we love the property and as much as we are dreaming of all that we can do here and so of many plans and remodeling the schoolhouse and turning it into our home and doing you know setting up fencing and all this stuff um, we decided that we can't stay here it's not the right place for us we're gonna sell we're gonna list the house in the spring if everything goes right and we're just gonna go with the flow this time there's no rush when yeah. we sold the last time we were we had to sell we had right. to we were a bit nervous to talk about this because it's such a big change. <laughs> yeah. It's stressful, but it'll be good. So I hope you guys join us throughout the rest of this journey to see how it all goes. But thanks for watching. Thanks for joining our journey and being a part of this. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.